Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you um, on the uh, Mark IV Volkswagen uh, Golf uh, Jetta. Most of the VWs that have the um, the Bosch engine control module uh, had to uh, put a used one in your car the quick and easy way um, without having to get the pin codes and um, hassle with, with everything. Um, Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to open up the back. Uh, this is the original. Make sure your part numbers are identical. And then um, open up the back. You're going to need a putty knife uh, when you pull the four screws out to get the back open because they do use uh, butyl tape, or we used to call it uh, dum dum, um, to seal it up. So, uh, what we're after here is just the this little EEPROM chip dead in the center on the back of the PCM. All we're going to do is remove that and uh, swap it over and uh, the car should start. I've done quite a few of these and it, it's not really a big deal, but uh, it save you a little bit of headache if you need to put a used PCM in your car. And um, I had them before where they're completely dead and uh, the chip swap will get the new one or used one uh, up and running. So again, uh, most importantly, just make sure your part number is the same. And then what we're going to do is uh, get one of my obviously from all my videos if you watch them um, my favorite tool I'm gonna use a heat gun hot air station on this one we're just gonna uh, keep the fan on like a, a medium low and then make sure that we keep the orientation correct sorry let me grab my tweezers here you think I'd be ready and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna warm this up and we're gonna get this chip off and uh, all we want to do is get it off um, take the one off the used PCM, swap them over cleanly, and make sure that we keep uh, the orientation the same. So um, it's going to take a couple minutes for this to get warm. I have it set at uh, 380 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and then as soon as it's uh, ready to go, we'll we'll pop this chip off. Okay, I don't know if you can see um, because of the shadow, but we're just about ready to, to pull this chip off. Um, you can see it start to move. So once we get it warm enough, we don't want to force it. You don't want to break the legs off because you're in a, then you're in a worse situation than you were to begin with. But um, just slowly wiggle it, and it should lift right off. And then uh, what I do is I'll just set it off to the side in the the right orientation. Um, you can look at the numbers, and you can see we got it off uh, pretty clean. Um, the reason why I say not to force it is is Volkswagen does glue the bottom of the chip, um, but with not too much heat and just be patient take your time it will come off uh, clean and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to um, the new used PCM we'll get that chip off and then uh, solder it back on and the uh, car should be good to run okay so I got the chip off uh, the used PCM uh, set that off to the side make sure you don't confuse them and again, make sure the orientation goes correct. But one more thing I just wanted to touch on before we solder this back on is um, you kind of tell, I don't know if you can see the difference here. I'll try to move it over. But the old PCM and the new one, even though they're exact same part number, uh, everything matches. This one actually has a coating on it um, on the board itself. Uh, you can tell it's a darker green and it's actually pretty shiny. Uh, the original one didn't. So I'm going to use a little desoldering wick and then I'm going to... Uh, Clean this up real good to make sure we have a good contact because um, if you don't get a good contact when you put the chip back on it's not going to run and you're not going to know why you're not going to think that it worked so um, we're going to clean it up real good wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol and then um, put the original chip on here and uh, we'll be good to go okay so i got it all ready cleaned up uh, i know it looks kind of messy but what i did is i went ahead and put some just some solder on the solder pads and if you look at it up close it actually looks uh, pretty good um, in the video it looks kind of um, kind of blotchy but it, it'll be perfectly fine and all I want to do is just set this chip on here and just get one corner of it stuck we're gonna line it up just fine exactly how it should be and then I'm gonna use uh, the hot air um, on the solder itself, I'm using a 6337. Uh, it's a lower temperature solder, uh, so that we don't have to put a lot of heat on it. And we're 
we're just going to warm it up. Put a tiny bit of pressure on it. And we'll see the chip sink into position. Okay, I'm trying to do this from behind, so it's a little bit harder to see, but... Um, heat it up and make sure we have a nice solder joint. And uh, that's all there is to it. We just transferred the chip over um, from the used PCM to the new one. And then uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, after I pause the video that all these connections are good. They look pretty good. Uh, I know in the video they don't, but actually up close they do. And uh, main thing to look out for is just keep your orientation of the chip the same. And if you do use a hot air gun, um, I've done it before with just a soldering iron, but you have to be careful because... Like I said, you don't want to break the legs on your original chip, and then you're uh, really in trouble. So, um, just simple as swapping over um, the chip that has the information for the security and the pin number, and keep your uh, hot air station, um, the actual fan down low, because the last thing you want to do is blow these little resistors off the board or the capacitors, and then you end up having to piece it all back together. So, um, literally a five minute job if you want to put a used PCM in uh, like the Mark IV, Jetta's, uh, Golf, GTI, stuff like that. Uh, most of the Bosch computers, if you flip it over and it has a security chip in the center, you can uh, switch them over real quick, save yourself some time, headache of having somebody try to get the pin number. We know how much of a pain that is when you're trying to get it out of a used PCM. But uh, again, try not to make the video too long, but thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, make sure this is cleaned up. And then we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on, seal it up, and uh, put it in the car.